Okay, welcome back to episode 35 of our campaign playthrough of our Dark Hero Shade. We are not going to change anything up with our commerce. Infirmary, we will put our hero Kirloth in there. We will go to the tavern and do our tavern tale. Let's contribute tiring scouts. Cost us a little bit and was the good thing to do. Now we can definitely afford to take a little hit. Scouts could be useful and I'm sure we'll get a scout card in the next quest. We'll head to the market next. Oh, we had got a sample of this. We'll definitely take this. Oh, and this has nothing to do that we that we just did the side story with the scouts. And I'm actually not going to buy the scouts. They're they're okay, but our mercenary deck is pretty good. We'll buy this other relic. We can afford to refresh. There's what the marksman would have looked like. Pack of four. We haven't upgraded them further. Bounty hunter. Pretty nice. I think I will take the bounty hunter. I think that I will actually, now we've spent our money and not buying any of these powers. Savage of Psyche is a good power. Um, and I think we already have it. The what I'm going to do is going to go to the commerce screen after all. And I am going to upgrade our mercenaries. It will make them cost more, but we, when we lost our last quest, we upgraded our base cards for our little money generators. So this will make our mercenaries uh, more dangerous, but it will also make them cost one more. So we'll spend that. Up to a thousand. Uh, I can't quite remember what we need it. We could upgrade the resources of the Essence of the Gin Guard. It's a pretty solid card, but I think we will hold off and wait. And I think I would like to upgrade our Strike from Shadows with the 1200 attack, or that's what I'm leaning towards. Yeah, this one's quite expensive. So I think that what we'll do is we will upgrade our Strike from Shadows one more time. So we'll continue on with the next quest in order here. As the near full moon rises high in the sky, Eowyn the Witch beams proudly as she watches a pack of werewolves howl and grow stronger. She has been brewing a strange concoction for weeks feeding it to them every night in hopes of gaining control over them and their primal instincts. Her ploy seems to be working. Soon the wolves would fall under her spell. You might be able to confront the witch and convince her to end this plot, though that seems unlikely. Perhaps your better hope is to hunt down prey and provide the werewolves with enough fresh food to snap them out of the witch's mystical embrace and hopefully break up the pack. This one will need blue heroes. And we'll change our party right here, and forgot to jump in and do that, not a big deal. So we have our best blue heroes, uh, Orcas can generate one, so maybe I'll bring him back to the team as well. Uh, Lady Jane's usually great to bring along too, but we'll leave her, we'll let her rest for one turn. One cycle. Big game hunt should be very easy to complete. Um, just might take patience uh, waiting for those animals to come out. Although in the campaign with them having here, there are going to be ones with there. We can see this is how the commoner has been upgraded. He's now a trader. Doesn't look a whole lot different. It only generates one by itself. 
but it does have this if a commoner is first played then it generates an extra one so this ends up being quite a big add if we had taken the militia upgrade then they would have been i think a red card is how it works and if you play a red card then they would have done an extra damage so both of them are good upgrades but we could only pick one so we'll start this off. Eowyn wins if she tempts us to the dark side. Uh, hunger. Can't let the destroyed cards get away from us. So it should be a fairly easy quest for us to do. Assassin, so I'm going to hire the assassins. And even though these cards are upgraded, they still are like base cards, so not going to be afraid to get rid of them. We'll use our prized staples, and then we will go after the ape. I will buy a round first. Go to the bar, take a side quest, spend all of our money. Next foe will be a little bit tougher. So there's one of five. Turn one. These guys are dodgers. We win because they drag us down a little bit. Or anytime we fight them, actually, they drag us down a little bit. Nothing terrible happens if they escape. We'll fix up that store. There's our blood of gold we, and our Dwarven Greed. We were looking for those two cards last quest, but they never either of them came out. But we needed to build up some vault. him even though he might regenerate I think even if he does regenerate we'll still win this side quest so we do win the side quest before it checks and he does regenerate can we get the XP right How are the mercenaries Go after the familiar. And that will give us enough to train. Train him into the blood and gold card. And we'll soften up the mongrel with her five attack. It won't kill him, but it'll prep him for next time. One really needs to be pushed back. Player uncaring. <laughs> Lots of money. If we fight the mongrel, he's just going to regenerate. That's a blue.
Okay, we will try and clean this mess up a little bit. He's got regeneration. Let's see what's on the top of the adventure deck. Of course, it's another monster. He regenerates. So does anyone here not regenerate? He doesn't. It requires a blue to battle, which we don't have. She does not regenerate, so we'll fight her. Get another card from our stables, and we'll take a lucky day. Lots of neglect. <laughs> Do we have a wound in our discard? We don't. It's not going to activate anything. <laughs> have a wound in our hand. Do have the blue. Gonna let the alpha escape. Pretty decent experience. Is there anything up there we really want to save? Not at, right at the moment, but we will buy Got another gluttonous on the spot there. We'll get a passed out result. Now we do have a card worth saving, so we will get the Song of Slumber. And we'll take a Wild Frenzy. See, which is too bad, but that just means this turn for sure now. We are going to take a side job. Hero bread comes in at the right time. Oh, but we get a hero's demise. What are we going to have to discard? The wound, no, no harm. Wilds are empty, we can draw a bonus card. Let's see if we can free that up. All the essences required to play this. Maximum effect. So we'll try the mongrel first. Perfect. Be able to beat him now. Play a pile more cards. Lots of wounds in our discard, so this can trigger twice. We'll get the pushback and the other, but I think we will fight the big alpha wolf here. Draw some more cards. So far, we haven't had tons of these guys here. But they are in the card set. We've just been dealing with mostly werewolves. Like we're going to be able to draw most of our cards out, so we might as well recruit a couple more cards. 
side quest in case it's a recruit to be dark villain, but we can do that right now. <laughs> Three curses, don't, not sure it was worth it. Oh, we did get a relic. Fix up the city. Guys, a tie of the crystal, the assassin, and another one. Clean up these werewolves. And we'll go for the familiar as well. And we might as well take the treasure hoarder. That's a pretty good turn. Just waiting for the big game to come out. So we will recover our one wound. Get a fortune. I think I might change my tactic up here. Go after Eowyn instead. We're waiting a long time for these guys to come out. Did we lose nothing critical for sure? Item. There's an animal. need to be empty. We can make that happen. Draw an extra card. And the 
with a weapon. We would like assassins to join us after her again. <laughs> Recruit all the dark essence here with the taverns for free with tank up there. That's a few. Hexes, hexes. Now we'll buy another power potency. Cutting blow. Another stable card. coming up next but I think we will just finish out the quest here win it right now even though probably we would start seeing a couple more animals but they could be all stacked at the bottom of the deck so we'll just go for the finish up oh well, we won't go for the finish up we need to beat her five times so we'll beat her three we'll beat her four <laughs> Destroy all the white heroes, there are none, not impactful to us at all. So we just have a wealth of honey. A lot of it's vault though, so we'll leave a super healthy vault. Probably should have went after the arch villain. That wouldn't be enough to get to him. Try to buy around. Sure, go after the familiar. So we'll get to draw one card. Well, definitely won't work out now, so we'll won't keep digging. And that will be more than enough to win us the game. The boar would be four. Now let's just beat Aeolin down. <laughs> now she wants to be friends, of course. After she's beat. Through your skill in battle, you defeat the Elven Witch yet again. Her dark magic can no longer spread fear and chaos throughout the realm. As you stand over the defeated witch, ready to strike the final blow, 
she begs a final word. You show wisdom and guile beyond your short years, but I fear it will not be enough. I have foreseen the future. A doom is upon these lands. The skies will rain fire. The streets of the town will run with blood. Spare me, and I will do what I can to aid you against this oncoming doom. Eowyn has proven a powerful enemy. Can she truly be trusted? Whatever you decide weighs heavy on you, as the future of the realm now rests on the choice you make. Well, given that we're mostly dark, we're going to stick with it. We're not going to kill this witch. She's proven quite resilient. I'm sure she'll be a good addition to the team. Um, I would say as of doing this video, she's probably overperforming, probably needs to be balanced down a little bit. I'd say that arguably she is the strongest uh, hero out there. Although again, certain things, like certain heroes have certain strengths, like fighting the genie because she draws cards and that, she's she's might not be the best there, but she doesn't just draw cards. She's got a lot of cards that control the deck and more, not control your deck, but more control the adventure deck. So she's a little bit more advanced in that way, but if you know how to make use of that, it it's a very strong combo. Her cards do, a lot of them are dark balance cards. So again, like if you have a quest like Age of Darkness, or a Dark Saga like Age of Darkness, where you lose if you get so many dark deeds, if you play her recklessly, she could definitely cause you to fail the quest pretty quickly too. But we're going to take her. Welcome to the team. And that is where we will wrap up this episode. Thanks for tuning in, everyone.